Maybe I'm just getting old. <laughs> but it seems like every day, the same old routine just gets harder and harder. You pay the bills every month, and a month later your desk is covered with them again. You go to the dentist like you're supposed to and get your teeth cleaned, and then the plaque just starts building up again. You empty your inbox every day before you go home. But when you come in the next morning, you're buried again, and there might actually be a few actually important emails there among the mountains of spam. You grind through your task list all week long, and on Monday, there's another one arriving with your name on it. No matter how many loads of laundry you do, the hamper fills up again. No matter how many times you drag the garbage out to the curb, the pails all fill up again. No matter how many times you mow the lawn, all it takes is one rainstorm and the damn grass is up to your knees again. No matter how many times you help the kids with their homework, they're bugging you again the next night, asking you to remember what caused the Boxer Rebellion or how does the floodgate on a dam work. No matter how many times you run Symantec or Adaware, there's another piece of damn malware on your system. So yeah, you're saying, Steve, it really sucks. It's like you're caught on a treadmill. It's like the Red Queen says to Alice, takes all the running you can do to stay in the same place. We run and we run and we just stay in the same place, right? If only, if only, <laughs> because every day when you pick yourself up and collapse out of bed and eat breakfast with one eye closed and the other eye barely half open, and you push yourself out the door into a cold rainstorm to face another day of bugs and meetings and conference calls, <laughs> Every day, it's with your body aching a little bit more. Every day, it takes another ounce of willpower to get your blood going in the morning. Every day, the same routine, but with the knowledge that you're 24 hours closer to that long sleep in the big pine phone box. Every time you open the newspaper, with its depressing headlines, the type is a little bit smaller and fuzzier. Every time you trim your hair, there's a little less on top and a lot more gray ones everywhere. Every time you go to a trade show or a cocktail party or a class reunion, all those years of listening to rock music too loud continue to catch up to you and everyone seems to be talking a little quieter or mumbling a little more. And it takes longer to remember everyone's name if you can dredge it up at all. Every cold knocks you down a little bit harder. Every hangover just takes a little more out of you. Every case of jet lag knocks you down a little bit longer. Every winter seems to be a little longer and colder and more bitter, and every morning you wake up and your joints hurt a little bit more. And colonoscopies. <laughs> Don't get me started on colonoscopies. You don't even know the wondrous possibilities of getting old until you've experienced the incomparable thrill that is a colonoscopy. But oh, wait, it's even worse than that. Because as you're going through the same routine day after day after freaking day in a body that's breaking down cell by cell by freaking cell, you're not doing it in a world that's standing still. Oh no. Because <laughs> while you're on this treadmill that just gets harder and harder every day, you're on it in a world <clears throat> in which every little thing, every little thing is step by step going straight to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> every year, the traffic gets a little bit worse. Every year, the trains and the trolleys are less likely to run on time. Every year, flying from coast to coast just gets a little more horrible. Just when you thought they couldn't come up with anything worse than airline food, they come up with something worse. No food at all! Every 
every year, prices get a little higher, quality gets a little lower, service gets a little worse, but are businesses working on quality? Oh no, they're too busy coming up with stupid marketing band-aids to cover their own incredible incompetence. Do we really need 37 varieties of Pepsi? <laughs> Every, every day another thousand acres of rainforest gone. Every year the popular culture gets a little coarser. Every election cycle you listen to the empty rhetoric and the jokes that pass for debates and you think, well at least it can't get any worse. And then the next time around it actually gets worse. <laughs> you turn on the news and you hear about radical fundamentalists taking over another country in the Middle East or fundamentalist radicals taking over another state house in Alabama or Mississippi. <laughs> Waterboarding, genetic, uh, genital mutilation, bombings, riots, just incredible inhumanity that your mind can't even begin to comprehend. <laughs> the the drive-in where you stole your first teenage kiss, now a mini mall and a McDonald's. And the open lot where you used to play softball as a kid, now a Starbucks, and thank God, because otherwise the nearest Starbucks would be two blocks away! <laughs> so with day after day like this, stretching out endlessly and forming the suckitude that's the infinity of the rest of your life, <laughs> is it any wonder where you can get the energy to put one foot in front of the other? or whether it's even worth the effort to take one more fucking breath. <laughs> and then suddenly, by surprise, like a flower blooming in the desert, comes a fresh and fun and funny game-like portal. And that just makes all those other things worth putting up with. Thank you, Belle.